welcome back. This is the fifth level. Moving on, we just killed a deadly assassin robot IG-88. And where are we now? Uh, I, I forgot the planet. I fell asleep on the way here. Okay, um, Boba Fett's gonna be the last boss of this planet. Looking forward to that. Is it... I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of stuck on the planet. Are we on, like, Geonosis or something right now? I'd believe it, if it was. That'd be cool. That'd be cool but, uh, if Geonosis existed before Episode 2. That would be. Probe droids on this planet. Although this is technically after Episode 2, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, in timeline, of course, yeah. Oh, okay. There are stormtroopers here, and he successfully murdered you by scaring you. Mur that's murder. That's murder. All right, again. Are the seekers gonna respawn? No. Uh, yeah. No, they're gone. But you get to keep them, don't you? They roll over. Yeah. Oh, like Let's go play chess. Let's go play giant mandible chess. Yeah. So. We are still tracking down. We got something from IG-88 that sent us here, I'm assuming. Yes. Um, as I believe I said in an earlier video, uh, part of this story, Shadow's Empire, is trying to track down where Han is. We gotta find Han. And uh, I believe this part of the story is where uh, Boba Fett is found out to have Han and tracked down to this planet. Which is why we attempt to uh, capture him, but fail. Otherwise, it wouldn't be in episode six. It would be very different. Well, I've got another fun question that this brings up: is this character was not with them on Cloud City in Bespin? Yeah. No, this is Dash Rindar. Um, they met him on Hoth during the Hoth invasion. That's why the first level was in Hoth. Yes. That's where they met him. Um, and I don't know why he owes them. I don't know why he's them. Maybe he just wants... I mean, it's always good to have a Jedi who likes you, I guess. Yeah. Okay, I don't know which way to go. Is this going to both go the same way? My... Yeah, I believe so. Although, then again, when he met Luke, Luke was still kind of a... Oh, bit of a whining child, still. Yeah. It's an investment. We're gonna look at it. This is this is Dash Rendar's investment. I wouldn't really call him a Jedi until after he trained with Yoda. So he, he met him before he was a Jedi. Well even then, um that brings up the fun part of going into episode six. Even at the very beginning of that, there's a lot of speculation that he wasn't he still wasn't really Jedi then. He's actually going towards the dark side. The, the only people up to that point when he first walked in, he does the force choke. That's true. Only Sith have done the Force Choke up to that point. He also... Uh, if, if you're just watching 4, 5, He six. attacked uh, Vader out of anger when uh, he provoked him with exactly. his sister. Don't, don't fall off that edge. Oh. Don't tell me what to do. do I don't have a choice. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just looking out for your best interest. We gotta find Han. I believe we're supposed to get a nice little toy in this level. Uh, but where is it? A toy? Yes. Like a dreidel, or? Dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Oh, ooh, that's health, that's health. Ah. Uh, I don't know if you can make that jump in. Your character doesn't know how to climb. There you go. I, I put a point in the climbing proficiency. He's a billy goat. Okay. Ah. Yeah, there. There's two things of health there. I need one. They expected you to get hurt. Yeah. You showed those developers who's boss. On easy difficulty. <laughs> I guess you showed them their, they, they did the difficulty settings correctly. That's true. I have not really seen any challenge points. Is that a Wookiee? Um, I, I can tell you right now it's the same model as for... The Wampa, yeah. yeah, the Wampa. It's that's... a sand wampa. I don't think that's a wolf. Or a pallet swamp wampa. I think it's just the new skin. Oh, uh, yeah. They give him a skin, but we still don't get many trundle skins. No, no, no more trundle skins. You're, you're done with trundle in the jungle. And karma skins. Okay, time to play which is the right way. 
I would say I would typically go this way because it feels cozy. Yes, quaint. Very quaint. Ah, look at that right back. Didn't matter. Just gave you some Is more health. Is this part of the same way? Yeah, this this was just a little circle around that little... Okay. Why didn't I see that? Aliens. Okay. Wow. What was there, that? you were talking about challenge points. Nope. 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 I think... Yeah, the, there you go. No, we gotta find Han, though. We can't, we can't spend all the time finding all these little rebel symbols everywhere. They have bonus lives. I will need them for the speeder bike level. Ah. There's a speeder bike? <laughs> yeah, well, a swoop bike. It's like a speeder bike. But red. It's red. The only difference between a speeder bike and a swoop bike is color? I mean, some general shape, but their functionality is identical. Gotcha. Ah. So I see they put that full health field right out there. Ah. Which is when I need it. Especially after fighting those two things that didn't want to die. Okay, was there anything? Nope. It's just, uh, just a little dead end. Gonna the bottomless abyss below you. Experiment with a little camera angle here. It's actually kind of useful right there. I do not want to try that jump. So they can actually keep the rebel symbol. I just went down, went down there to get hurt and full healed again. That was a risky jump. I'm not going to do it. That is the definition of progress, my friends. Yes. For science! And, and also money. And money. We'll get the money later. That's all. We're, that's what we're doing this for. We're no better. We're just doing this for the reward. We get on uh, back to them. Yeah. Because he's. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's a rank general right now, isn't he? I believe. Or so. Or is that when he comes back? So I believe this makes Dash Rendar just a scoundrel, straight scoundrel. We're just the new Han Solo. Han Solo went the straight and narrow, and now we've got to be the scumbag. I'm the Han Solo surrogate. Somebody's got to do it. Of course, you did just kill your. Your possible Wookiee friend You're taking him on his uh, sidekick. Okay. That's open. Oh. Just checking every nook and cranny. And now I gotta reopen it. You took too long. Now your door is locked. That's what happened. Gow. Oh, is there any more new Bee and Puppycat? I'm not sure. I, they, they released the start of a new season. Uh, it's on standalone show, but... I don't know how I feel about it. it they was, changed the animation. They did, and it felt different. And I understand it, because the first thing they set out, part one and part two, were just standalone episodes. They weren't meant to be continued. Yeah, it was it was more or less a uh, trial run. It was like watching a funny YouTube video, and that's that was all. And then they got so much response to make uh, it into a show. Well, I mean, I think that was the goal. They... Oh, oh, oh. I hate when I get off the elevator facing the wrong way. Yeah, and I just did a complete 360 going all the wrong ways. Uh, what's it called though? Uh, not trial video. Uh, Pilot, yeah, it's who was the pilot. The channel, Cartoon Hangover, they just had a bunch of pilots, and some of the things stuck and some of the things did not. But I do appreciate the way they do it, though. It's uh, Frederator, I believe, is what runs it, just that's the name of the right. overall company, and they have like these trial runs that run through, like Puppy Cat had the trial run, and got through it. What is murdering you? you I don't know. Mystical death, are you bleeding out? Believing it is... Yeah. Ah. Health. Perfect. Now, Perfect. now I feel like a jerk for turning up my nose and health earlier. These guys are helping you remember how important health is. So we got our classic uh, just moving platform with no explanation. It's just the hover bridge. But yeah, there's there's several things that are just seem to be in here just to just to kind of be in here. 
Pretty much. Like all these health bags, just flying around. Just lying around for you. Well, it's important for any facility to have uh, first aid kits. Spaced about. Okay, that's gonna work. So, that's the first time that's happened, so we, it is confirmed. We do take fall damage. Yes. I don't think we've fallen except to our deaths at uh, any other point. I think fall damage might be relevant at one point in the sewer level. Uh, but I don't think there's gonna be high, high, uh... It might be relevant in the boss fight. Because, you know, Boba Fett is a jetpack. Oh, Boba Fett's the boss? Yes. I mean, I guess I could have figured that he, he is the one who has Han Solo, so... It's just Dash doesn't really know that yet. No. Um, spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. I might have to kill myself. I don't know how to get back up. And we're back. Welcome back. I died again. So I'm beginning to think I just did not get the jetpack memo. And welcome back. We just are dealing with some fun pits of death right now. Somebody keeps getting taunted into them. I, I can't help it. I don't have a way to get past the taunt creature. Global taunt. Pit. With no way up. Okay, time for this kind gate to talk to me again. Let's see, we gotta go across the floating platform. Honestly, if they just... If the Empire just built the Death Star with a bunch of floating platforms, they probably would have won. Luke and them would have probably died to the floating platforms. I didn't know. Floating platforms can... I mean, mostly, I think, the biggest problem is they should have put pits where you can only get out with proper access instead of just panels you can shoot and then the door opens. Yeah, this is only justifying the aid for platforms. Yeah, it's a good thing you're playing this game right now. I would be, uh, like, I'm, I'm feeling kind of stressed watching it happen from time to time. <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, there, there are some PlayStation games that I have that will probably make you rip your hair out. Don't do that. I'll I don't, I don't want to go bald. Okay, what is some of the most platforming nightmares out there? Um, Shadows of Colossus has a good bit of platforming elements. Shadow of Colossus is the one where everything's a boss battle, right? Kind of, yeah. I mean, the whole game is just hunting down the 16 Colossus. Oh, that's me! Oh, shot in the face. Oh, please don't put me. Okay, there we go. Alright. Now to find my way. Where did I go? Uh. Okay. <laughs> I thought the elevator was just gonna stay up. That would not be very good. Then there's not a button to call it down, so if it just doesn't decide to come down for you, it would be a major oversight in this game. So you were the bad guy. Mm. He killed Dash Rendar, and his body is gone. Yes, absolutely gone. Oh, whoa, whoa! I don't expect that to be an elevator. Very dark room. Uh, I smell an ambush. No, there's no way. No one ever ambush you in this level. Hmm. There's only tight corners and oh, there's another elevator unmarked. That would be very trippy to have happen. Just walking along and the floor starts going up. The spaceport computer in this observation tower. Activate it and we'll know where Boba Fett is docked. Awesome. Okay. Oh, I have to hit start. 